the beginning of the exhibition uh, is when uh, Armin, uh, my wife, send you a photo of a Picasso painting of the 1963-64, a portrait, a self-portrait, Picasso self-portrait with white canvas, dot, a, a black line making the nose, and it's how the exhibition concept start because she sent you that photos and immediately you send us back a small sculpture which was very very similar and uh, yes it's how it did begin if I, if I will remember and it was it was a it was a spiritual beginning because the painting what's the the date of the painting is about what i don't know 64 I 64 think. and the calder sculpture is from 42 yeah. So it's, it wasn't kind of resonance about the same moment and same time, it was a resonance of kind of an energetic resonance, how the sculpture and the painting had this kind of interactivity. What I learned so much about Picasso, something I really didn't understand before, is that every sculpture, every painting, every drawing is a self-reflection. He's always looking in the mirror. and. I had no idea about that. I knew about his, his um, fear of mortality before, but to see that it really opened my eyes to understand that everything is a self-reflection. Yes. Yes, the same, the same uh, theme, the same uh, ambition in a way of, of discovering new, new space, new free space uh, uh, within all the uh, uh, 20th century development and, uh, and discoveries because those guys were born at the time it was no car, no airplane, no, no massive mass murder like First World War and all that. All that did not exist. So they went through their, uh, 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 their strengths and belief to create a very specific kind of, uh, um, of work. It's a funny idea, this word play, in terms of Calder and Picasso, because they're um, highly complex, intelligent, intellectual artists. They're not frivolous artists. And so, we have to think about the word play in terms of the humans that are going to come from children to old people, ancient people, everything, everyone in between. We have to think about um, their experience like a certain kind of naivete can happen with the general public. They come in without knowing much necessarily, they know the name of the artist, but they experience the work in a, in a very free way, a very open way, which is what's special. I think one of the special things about these two artists also is that you can just allow yourself to respond. You don't have to be an art historian to understand the work. You can allow yourself to respond. Mm -hmm. So play is a way of allowing the process to unfold and allowing innovation to occur. And I think that's one of the common words for these Two great men. Yeah. Yes, innovators. yes, and, and I'm so and I'm so happy that we're talking now uh, just uh, in front of those uh, magnificent uh, uh, sculpture, uh, both by Calder. When you see the three, uh, uh, the three ladies, the little boy and the, and the, and the man and the, and the wife, the basers, uh, there on the beach and made with a found object, with piece of furniture, piece of wood, uh, it's 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 telling to to young public and to people, yes, when you walk in the, in, the, in the park or in the forest or in the beach and you see a shell and you see something, you can be creative, you can be creative for yourself and, uh, and do something with it. So it's also, it's also a kind of a, a call uh, uh, for us to say, well, Life can be, uh, life can be uh, something very, very creative if we, if we want, if we want, and if we allow a little time uh, to, to, to do it. We allowed ourselves to have fun in this exhibition, yeah. in the curatorial process, and when we decided to include the bathers, 
it became almost imperative to have this sculpture, the red mobile, because the red mobile is called, it's called red lily pads. So it's like the lily pads floating on the water, but now the water is above the bathers. So it's, it's the inverse. <laughs> yes. And of course, Calder is not talking about a literal aspect of the lily pads. He's talking about um, the dynamic sensation of lightness. So it's not really about water, it's about kind of everything. But we had fun yeah, doing playing it. with the water. You know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's uh, and and art has be uh, has to be a lot about fun. It's so serious because it's uh, it's uh, from the origin of the humanity. You found art. You have uh, you have uh, love art uh, together, uh, and uh, and it's great to see those two pieces. Me, it uh, it uh, it make me uh, 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 happy when I'm when I'm next to those beautiful uh, uh, sculpture. It's uh, and we can rejoice for it. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's great moment. So I, I believe the public will be uh, sensitive to it. Yeah. yeah.